Hey everybody, this week I want to talk about my first guitar build. It's my custom Fiesta Red Telecaster. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This week it's a little bit of a different video. We're going to go over my first ever guitar build, which is this custom Telecaster right here. Um, I've done the Jazzmaster build on the channel before, I'll definitely link that above, but I thought it would just be kind of cool to go over what went into this build as well. Unfortunately, I don't have the videos to go along with it, but I did snap some pictures when I did it uh, probably about two years ago, and I think you'll find it interesting nonetheless. Also, before we get started, I wanna remind you guys to subscribe to the channel so you get all my latest content and make sure to hit that notification button as well. So moving this guitar out of the way, you can see in the background there, I have my guitar rack with my other Telecaster on it along with my Taylor Acoustic. That Telecaster is a Blackguard Tele obviously with the Butterscotch Blonde color. Um, it is a Fender Special Run so it's one of their Mexican um, guitars and it has a little bit of a different setup than this guy. Uh, when I decided I was going to build a guitar I wanted to build a Tele because I just really like Tele's and also I wanted to get something that sounded a little bit different than that one back there. Starting with the body uh, this guitar is actually based on an idea I got from a Chicago Music Exchange Special Edition Tele. I really like the Fiesta Red color. I like all the pastel colors, uh, which you'll probably see if you see my other guitars through the videos. Um, really digging that color, but you know, with Fender, I couldn't get something that was this color in uh, a low-cost guitar. I know they come out with, uh, I believe it's a Mexican Deluxe that's in Fiesta Red, but I was still going to have to make some changes to it, so I decided to uh, go my own way and order a Warmoth bot body in this color. Uh, really, really like it. Um, in comparison to my other Tele back there, this is an Alder body as opposed to a Swamp Ash. That said, Alder's still pretty common for Telecasters and pretty much any uh, Fender, Mexican, or American guitars. One thing to know about the Warmoth bodies is they have two Telecaster type bodies. Uh, this is the standard Telecaster. They also have a classic Telecaster body as well. Uh, differences mainly being that the standard allows for some uh, improved, or sorry, more variety in uh, pickup selection because it doesn't have just the single channel route. Um, it also has little things like a little bit different uh, curvature around the the edges of the body. Um, the classic one has a flat spot here for the input jack to sit. And um, I think a couple other things. You can look it up on their site. I went with the standard. I really love it. There's no complaints and it really doesn't look that much different than any Tele I've ever owned. For the pick guard, I went with a standard parchment pick guard. It is three ply, so it is uh, parchment, black, parchment. Um, like the color combination, I think it goes really well with the um, maple neck and also it's kind of in the same vein as that Chicago Music Exchange uh, telly that I was I was kind of modeling this after. Um, one thing to note that you can't see here is Warmoth was nice enough to uh, route out a strat slot here so if I ever decide to make this into more of a Nashville telly I'll have that ability. Uh, one thing to know no additional cost when you're doing that through Warmoth if you buy something out of their stock which this was you know if you want to add a routing uh, a routing configuration that's maybe not on that body, they'll do it free of charge. So the next thing we have is our control plate here and the wiring underneath. Uh, this wiring harness was actually uh, built out by Atlantic Custom Guitars, so it was just something I ordered online. It is their reverse four-way Telecaster switching. So, uh, you know, I get four positions here as to the uh, regular three-way. Uh, what the components are inside it is a four-way Oak and Grigsby switch two 250k pots, uh, they're CTS pots. We have an orange cap capacitor in there at 0.047 uh, microfarads. We also have some additional uh, resistors and capacitors in there to get the treble bleed circuit as well. So your volume's not gonna uh, lower greatly when you adjust your tone. So a uh, really cool thing, it's all attached into a Switchcraft jack and you can see here, my jack is into a cup that's actually screwed into the body of the uh, Telecaster. And that's just so you don't have to worry about that twisting and coming unscrewed as you are constantly pulling and unplugging the jack from the guitar. So if you're not familiar with the four-way switching for a Telecaster, um, I'll just quickly go over it. Essentially back here in position one, when it's all the way back, you're gonna get just your bridge pickup engaged. 
The uh, second position is going to be the standard uh, two pickup bridge and neck in parallel position. Three is going to be your neck only. And then four puts the neck in the bridge in series, which is the kind of new or the additional uh, position that you get out of the four-way wiring. What that does is it just basically increases the resistance of your pickups. You're gonna get a little bit of a higher output. Some people say it sounds more like a humbucker. I guess that would have to factor in how you have it wired, if one's reverse or not. Um, I don't really notice that. I just think I get a little bit higher output from it. Also, it's something I don't get in my other telly. Speaking of the pickups, I've had two different sets of pickups in this guy. Uh, the first was a set of Tone Emporium 52 Telecaster pickups. I did like those, but I just couldn't handle the bridge pickup being so bright. Uh, it did allow me to use my tone control and get lots of different sounds out of it, but I just wanted something a little bit more simple. And although I really liked the neck pickup in that set, I ended up with going with something I knew a little bit better, had a little bit more experience with, which is just the Fender Custom Shop Texas Specials. I was able to find those used at a, a local uh, pawn shop for a really good price. And I thought, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put those in because I know that sound. So before we leave the body, I'll just take a look at the bridge setup. Uh, this is your vintage three saddle bridge that you would get out of a, you know, an older Tele style, except it has the Wilkinson offset saddles in it. I've always liked the look of the three brass saddles over the uh, you know, six individual saddles. I think it's really what makes a Telecaster a Telecaster. And all my Tellys have had that and you know, I, I like how it looks. I find that the sound is a little bit different. I don't know if it's much better, but a lot of the times, you know, if it looks good, you'll pick it up and play it. So that's why I went with that. And the compensated saddles from Wilkinson definitely allows for a little bit better intonation. Moving up the guitar, we'll get onto the neck. This is just a simple Mexican Fender neck, although the nut has been uh, modified for a Tusk XL nut, uh, like I do with pretty much all my guitars. Uh, that's the first thing to go is, you know, the plastic nut that comes with these uh, fenders. I, I really like this neck. Um, I know it's just a Mexican and a lot of people have problems with that, but you know, I, I have no issues with it at all. It has a nice satin finish on the back. I believe it's from, uh, it looks like it's from 2017. Uh, so it's got the, the medium jumbo frets, you know, it's just a standard neck, but you know, I love it. I, I really can't say anything bad about it. All the fret ends are nice. Um, you know, I bought it brand new. It, it went right on into the warmth body with no issue. Um, really happy with this neck altogether. Finally, the headstock, you can see uh, I've added the rolling string tree there just, uh, you know, I was going to put a string tree on. I might as well put the better of the, the type on. And also with the uh, tuners or the machine heads, I went with the Fender locking tuners, which I have on all my Fender guitars as well. So a couple things just before I give you guys a demo. Uh, as you saw in the pictures, I went ahead and shielded the inside of this guy with uh, copper tape. So same way I did my Jazzmaster, just helps reduce the noise and, and the input of the, the guitar. Um, other than that, the weight, it's about five pounds, give or take a few ounces. It's heavier than my other Telecaster, um, but I don't mind. Uh, you know, Tele's I think are kind of renowned for being a little bit heavier than they should be. Um, the only one that I've really tried that was really light was that Brad Paisley one, the, the sparkly one, which was made of like Palonia, and it was like three pounds or something like that. But, you know, a little bit heavy, but I like it. I have no complaints. I usually play it sitting down. You can see I don't have any strap buttons on it yet, but yeah, great Telecaster. And I think it's time I give you guys some sounds. <laughs>
I hope you guys like me discussing my Fiesta Red Telecaster. Um, if you haven't built a guitar before and you're interested in it, I definitely recommend going this route where it's more just assembly than trying to construct anything. Um, it's really a really cool experience and you have something afterwards that's unique to you, exactly what you like, and you're going to pick it up and play it probably more than your other guitars. I know for me, this is my favorite guitar. Um, it is always right beside me, it seems. Um, I've got other guitars, more expensive guitars. But, you know, this guitar is my favorite one because, you know, I went through the process of picking out everything in it, building it. And for the little bit extra money than you might pay over, say, a Mexican telly, um, you get what you want in the color you want. And I would definitely say go that way. With that, we'll leave it for this week. And like I said at the start of the video, make sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. And yeah, we'll see you next week. Thanks.